Hi Aries, welcome to your daily reading. I hope you're doing great. So let's go ahead and see what comes up in the Angel Tarot by Bradley Valentine. Messages here for Aries. What do they need to see? Aries. Messages for the first house, Aries friends. We have a Ten of Wands. The Judgment and the Six of Air. So there was something that was heavy on you. You were carrying a lot of burdens. Six of Air is possibly someone is um, not communicating with you or it also means that things are about to look up and you know the conflict will be over in a certain situation there may have been a fight or something it's now over we do have the renewal which is judgment favorable assessment of facts time to move in a new direction it's about redemption and awakening um, having a renewal of spirit finding new purpose Okay, it looks here. So you got six of wands flipping. This is the victory. Good news is on the way. Public recognition awards. Uh, I was saying it's kind of like riding around, taking a victory lap, um, being seen, doing quite well for yourself. What's in the past energy? Four of wands. Okay. Stability, the happy home, achievement of a goal, contentment peace okay so what's coming into Aries future here so these could be switched maybe you've been out there doing things busy okay. ace of wands something new and exciting Something new, some new inspiration, um, an exciting new opportunity, career advancement, changing your life. Okay. So let's see. A lot of fire, <laughs> a lot of Aries energy. Fire is the passion, the drive, the energy, the determination that comes from within you. So it can also be, yeah, it's all within. If something inspires you and wakes you up and makes you feel alive, it's still within you. Um, so let's see what's coming up for Aries here. Oh, wow. You may have been working a lot too with the Ten of Wands and the Six of Air, and now you're not having to work as much because we have here the Ten of Air but we do have the sun. So I think your energy is the sun. Happiness, optimistic. They came out together, so I'll just take them together. A happy outcome, brilliant new ideas that lead to success, having confidence in yourself, Archangel Uriel. There's something here that's um, a bright, very bright for you. Happy, joyful, optimistic. Ten of air is the ending of a difficult situation, embracing change, expect things to get better, recovering. Um, I'm just going to put it with this because they came together there. What's around Aries in their environment? The chariot card. Fast forward movement, someone's very determined to move ahead, willpower, victories, someone's overcoming difficult situations, could be getting in the car and driving somewhere, road trips.
What's Aries hope here? What are they hoping for? Here we go. Oh my goodness. You're hoping to be the queen of wands. Search for, oh, stretch your wings and fly. It did come out with a five of cups, feelings of loss or sadness. I think if you're trying to be super optimistic and ten of air, I think this is your fear. This is like something you don't want to happen. You don't want to be disappointed or let down. Um, so you're taking control. You're you're the one taking things in you're taking charge. Okay. You're, you are the sun card or you're influenced by the sun energy. Happy, optimistic, feeling good. Okay, so the judgment is underlying. Renewal, a rebirth, a day of judgment, a day of reckoning. Um, so this could be good karma for you with the judgment underlying, underlying the victory. Okay, so show us what is the judgment here. What is the judgment? The three of earth. Working together, solving problems together, working in a group. Things are getting better. Um, recognition for your work. Okay. Okay, so what do we have here for Ace of Fire? What's ex exciting or inspiring? Okay, I got the lovers flipping. Something about new love or existing love, healing. Okay, what is the Six of Fire here? The victory, overcoming difficulties. Minor Arcanas. I mean, the Major Arcana is what's underlying and your energy is affected by karma and God. You're getting many blessings. Around you with the Chariot, though, that's human willpower to overcome difficult situations. Um, what is the Six of Fire here? There we go. High Priestess. Spiritual listening to your intuition, Pisces energy, having patience, considering something carefully. So if you decided to do something and then, you know, all of a sudden you have a gut feeling about it, to follow your intuition. Okay, so something around you is the chariot. The lovers is coming in, healing of a relationship. Somebody could be driving down to see you. They've made a decision to get in the car and drive to see you. Okay. So, High Priestess, Six of Wands. Some of you could do tarot. You could be spiritual, um, healers. And you're actually doing quite well in that. So, what is the Queen of Wands here? What is Queen of Wands? Queen of Wands as the outcome. Five of Air and the Justice. Oh, wow. So there's something here about justice being served. Justice in your favor. A wrong being made right for something that was not right. Um, do what you think is right. Stand up for your beliefs. So Libra Energy. Okay, so this is definitely like karma in your favor. Um, divine timing at play with the renewal underlying the three of coin, six of fire. And um, then we have here the excitement, the healing, the, the lovers. Okay, so... 
Show me, what is the chariot here? Who is coming forward with chariot energy? Who's coming forward with the chariot? The eight of earth, okay. Skilled work is rewarded, learning. Going back to school, somebody's working, somebody's researching, looking into something here. Learning all there is to know about a topic is around you though. So somebody could be um, around you doing a hobby and it's something that's gonna work out quite well for them. They're studying, doing something by themselves. Okay, so what is the lover's energy here? Okay, we have here the wheel of fortune. Good luck and good fortune turning in your favor. A time of positive change. Fortune is on your side, Archangel Michael. Okay, underlying energy here is the king of air. Someone who's impartial, professional, diplomatic, a speaker, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, page, page, Hierophant, Emperor and page of fire. Okay, that looks like someone's going to reach out to you, Aries. Um, justice is being served in your favor here. Something that was not right is gonna balance out. Why do we have um, the three of earth. Your money is starting to flourish or pick up. You're being rewarded. Two of wands. You're at a crossroads. You have to make a decision here. Or you're inspired and something is starting to go forward. You started something and it's starting to go forward. Saying here to follow your intuition about something that you're doing very well about. Um, it could be like don't compromise. Um, eight of coin is somebody who's trying to learn. So let's see, the outcome is queen of the wands and justice and five of swords. What is the justice about here? Death card, okay. The Hermit and the Ace of Coin. So some of you, like I had the Death and the Ace of Coin before, which is like money, compensation, offers of new, the inflow of abundance, a prom promising business venture, a contract, a document. The Hermit would be Virgo. Um, spending time by yourself. It can also be getting information from someone who's very wise. Spending time by yourself doing self-discovery. And then we have here the release. The end of a phase or situation, a spiritual transformation, time to move on. So the release card is the number 13, which is death in the regular tarot. The nine is about independent thinking and the ace of coin is a new opportunity. So I know the reading yesterday said this offer will change everything. It's kind of the same. You could be signing a contract because Ace of Air is here. A brilliant new idea and inspiration, seeing the truth. Four of Cups, Five of Earth, the world, Queen of Earth, Nine of Cups, Ten of Cups, De Devil. Okay, so something is going to change for you here. You got someone's attention or somehow you got attention and something inspiring is coming in. It will create positive change in your life. Sun card is here. You will feel very happy. The Ten of Swords is like the ending of stress. So let's see what we're getting in the Kipper. Mal, come here, please. Show us Aries, the journey. Wow, 
Oh, something about family? Wow, and the sudden wealth card again. So you're getting this energy or symbolism of sudden wealth. You know, someone, some of you could be driving somewhere today with the chariot and the environment and the eight of earth. <sighs> Pathway to the light. Privileged lady, false person in a marriage, toil and labor, mature woman. I don't want to look backwards. I, I don't think... I mean, I always do look backwards, but that's not what's popping from spirit. So here we go. Receiving a message. And the lovers. Okay. So these are, this is symbolic of unions, joining up with someone, partnering up with someone, receiving a message. There could be money involved. This is something private though. Family room means private. It's a private matter. Journey is travel, packing your bags, traveling, going somewhere. The courthouse and the distant horizons. Okay. <laughs> I can't look underneath. Okay, so the outcome is could be something to do with a contract, something you had to fight for. Um, show us what the just, oh, the justice is the death of a situation and the offering of something new, like a contract, ace of coin, hermit, death card. What is the death symbolizing here? What is the death symbolizing here? What is the death of the situation here? Seven of Earth, so it's the ending of waiting. Nine of Wands, the end of persevering. So you've been waiting for something, and it's arriving pretty soon. Knight of Water underneath. Falling in love, Emperor, Queen of Water. Fool card, ten, two of Earth. So it's almost like you've been trying to juggle or make things work. So this is the end. Receiving what you've been expecting, and then... You know feeling like it's a victory so i will leave this here thank you aries for watching your daily you can check out my website if you're interested there is a sale there with a coupon code um so thank you for watching and take care now bye